because I just can't resist. I spent $50 today at the pallet auction on four totes. It's a risk, but maybe it's a gamble worth taking. Well, after that mishap, maybe I should redo my whole intro. <laughs> Luckily, my camera survived. Uh, it's a little dent dented, uh, but it's still working, so maybe it'll be a new camera in these toes. Anyway, so we went with this fur fur guy when we had the camera falling down incident. In case it didn't capture, my camera went and landed it flat on the ground, and I thought it was severely damaged. But it's not. It's still going for now. So, DKNY pillow. Looks like we have some bath towels. Um, normally with these types of towels, I do like to you know, donate them to the animal shelters. Some people get offended by that. But me bringing these towels to the flea market, um, I could get a couple bucks for them. But it's just sometimes easier to just give them to the pups because I love creatures. So we have those. We have an umbrella. We have a charger for a... Uh, Apple product, which I can actually use. This is great, saves me some money from when you need to buy another one. Uh, Michael Kors Watch Hunger Stop shirt. These have like, these moldy American apparel, and we have some more American apparel and a package of, there's some socks down there. So, tote number one, towels, Michael Kors, and a furry blanket. Let's look in the other tote that was opened. The other two are not. So those will be complete surprises. Let's hope they're not all <laughs> bath towels. So let's see. We have, it's a Gravis, Gravis book bag. I'll show you, we can take a peek in here. That's actually a really nice looking book bag. Um, another book bag. That's Michael Kors. They really liked Michael Kors. That still has the tag on it. Did they ever use it? What was the price? $198? There's no way. I mean, this bag doesn't look cheap either. This looks like a really nice book bag. Kind of like for your laptop. Um, oh. Brand new in package Michael Kors Slim Fit Extra Small shirt. Original price tag of $128. Guess they like Michael Kors. Another Michael Kors shirt. We have some Jack Purcell shoes. Those are actually really cute. Converse. Underwear. Calvin Klein. Random lamps in here. We do have a lot of clothes. Oh, what's this? Some champion shorts, PCD. Those have definitely seen some years. It's that crunchy, crunchiness on the, the band. And your lamp. Let's get this Michael Kors shirt out of there. I mean, if we're talking retail value on these items, then I've already made my $50 back just on that shirt alone. Now what's the resale value? That's something I'm gonna have to look up, but luckily that should be easy to slap on eBay and sell. J. Crew, that's nice. So this is all brand name stuff. Another J. Crew sweater. Not bad, now I wonder what's in the other totes. So I looked in the Michael Kors bag and there was some paperwork from 2016 and 2017 and an inhaler and some garbage. So that was a used bag even though it still had the tag on it. Now the other book bag, I can't find a similar one like that on eBay. Actually there's only two bags listed so that's going to be one I might have to do a little bit more research and that looks like it's not used at all. So maybe I can get 50 bucks for that bag. Tote number three. Time for the reveal. Close. Oh, we have some Oreo cookie, Oreo cookie, Cookie Monster shirt. Oh, can't show that. <laughs> Bad language. Uh, a Sean Jean shirt. Is that a moose? 
It is Abercrombie and Fitch. Now, what's interesting is that uh, the Abercrombie, like the 2000, the Y2K Abercrombie and Fitch, I think is now kind of big again. So we'll have to see. We have a nice ballet shirt, just on a Hanes silver for her tag for the ballet. Yeah, I guess we're in the clothing business. Oh, what was that? Fight for your right 1960s. Homecoming 2010 dance works. <laughs> this could be all closed. Now there were other palettes that belonged to the same person and they had a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch and Michael Kors items and those sold for a bit more money. Is the apron? Yeah. San Francisco, made in USA apron. Maybe they were a chef. Michael Kors jeans. These actually look pretty nice. Ron Dorf, Paris Stockholm. It's a, like a, um, a sweatshirt kind of with just blue stripes inside. We have more jeans. These are pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what that label is. ASOS, I think it says. Whole mixture. Kuban. Hey, this is one way to learn about different items in the reselling world. You buy a palette, you're kind of forced to learn what's good and what's not. Another pair of Michael Kors jeans. What are these nice ones on the bottom here? Club, another Club Monaco. Those are actually pretty cute. Last tote. These palette auctions have given us a box full of jewelry, fishing rods, newer Christmas. Uh, what else have I gotten? The tiki torch <laughs> and tiki oil fuel things, clothes, designer wear. So you just never know. And $50, you know, I think the book bags and uh, some of the clothes will definitely, I'll definitely at least make 50 bucks back and the entertainment that I can provide you all. So last tote, I'm expecting clothes. I was right. <laughs> oh gosh. Hofstra Dance Department. Man, they were big with Hofstra, Hofstra. Ooh, these are champion. Made in Mexico. These are my size. I think I'm going to keep these. You can always use a good pair of sweatpants for working at home. My guess, they went to Hofstra. The Metropolitan Educational Theater Network. I had some stuff from the Met in another tote. Um, and another palette. Change someone's life with Zac Efron. What the heck? He's that actor. Changed someone's life with Zach. That's got to be some inside joke that I don't know about. <laughs> Who are these Umbros? <laughs> Diesel. Diesel swim trunks. Check out those bad boys. Another pair of. Ooh, these are Russell Athletic sweatpants. Ooh, what's this? These be something cool. We have some Hostra. Hostra sweatpants. These have these are Jansport. Those were definitely worn a lot. A jersey, Hofstra Pride basketball shorts. I'm guessing this is Hofstra. It is Hofstra University. Man, too bad there weren't like vintage um, champion sweatshirts from Hofstra. Club Monaco. We've seen a few of those. We have the. I'm guessing this is the Hofstra T-shirt section. Oh, what's this one? House of Rock, uh, School House of Rock Live. Hofstra. Is this another dance? This is grad night. <laughs> now, if I was the tote man, I could put all these out and get a few dollars a piece for the clothes, mostly just the t-shirts. 
I don't, I don't even know what that means on that one, but I'm not the tote man, so we'll have to make do with what I know and what I have. American College Dance Festival. The Pulse Summer, New York City and Los Angeles. Lots of shirts, lots of shirts. What's this guy? Wing bowl. Now it's gonna make me hungry for some wings. Oh, these are Abercrombie. Uh, might have to look these guys up. Again, it just all depends on the year that these were made because the 2000s clothing is back in style now. And I mean, we're in the 2000s, but you know what I mean. But it's back in style now and people are paying decent money to have those clothing items back. Um, so we'll, we'll have to look those up. You never know what you could have. Oh, looks like we got more sweatpants. Hofstra. <laughs> Hofstra, Hofstra. No oh boy. We have some Abercrombie Fitch underwear. Oh, man, they're de- oh, <laughs> That's what all that white stuff is floating around. It's their deodorant. Oh, gosh. Michael Kors again. I guess I'm going to have a lesson in Michael Kors and Abercrombie, what's new, um, what's in right now, and what people buy. Well, $50, I have done worse. You know, these items are all sellable. I honestly have no, no trash at all. And that is somewhat what's nice about these pallet auctions is because you're not cleaning out a whole storage unit and having to deal with throwing away furniture, though there are furniture on pallets, you know, throwing away actual trash, trash. I have no trash here at all. So that's a plus. And the totes, a lot of people actually sell these totes for five bucks a piece at the flea market. I think the book bag should be okay. And then the Michael Kors shirts that were new, never used. I have to look them up. They might only be 20 to 30 bucks online, but still that's 20 to $30 back. And then some of the Abercrombie clothes we'll have to look up as well. So not bad for $50, no garbage. We'll have to do some looking, have to do some laundry, and then get to reselling these. So I'll learn a little bit about the clothing world and see what, what all is out there and what can what's worth it and what's not. So I hope you enjoyed this storage palette. Another one, we're still coming off of that big high from my previous palette where I found all of the wonderful jewelry items and high-end fashion items. Still, still running off of that. Still hoping to have that success again at some palette or storage auction. You never know what you might find and that's what keeps us coming back for more. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're out and about at your own pallet or storage auction, I wish you success in bidding. May you come home with more treasure than trash. And I will see you all for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.